everyone. I'm Tim, and it's terrific. Thank you for joining me today. I do appreciate it. Come on in. The water's fine. Today, I want to talk about one of my very favorite books that I've ever read. I want to do a bit of a comparison between some special editions that I already own, and I want to unbox and show you another special edition that just came in the mail today from an eBay purchase. But first things first, the book is called the Maltese Falcon by Dashiell Hammett. And this is a movie that I've been in love with for decades, starring Humphrey Bogart, the 1941 movie starring Humphrey Bogart. For me, one of the greats, and maybe neck and neck with the big sleep for my favorite Bogart films. I do love them both a lot, but at the end of the day, if I'm gonna choose one movie to watch, probably seven times out of 10, between the two, I'm going to pick The Maltese Falcon. Just so many great characters in that movie. It is vintage Bogart, and it is a phenomenal story. The movie is almost identical to the Dashiell Hammett novel. I read the novel long after having seen the movie many times, and it was great. It was phenomenal. I love this book. One of my favorite books of all time. It's hard to put in a ranking, but if you gave me a top 10 list, guaranteed it's going to be on the list, The Maltese Falcon by Dashiell Hammett. My problem is there's not one unbelievably amazing luxury deluxe edition of this book. So I'd love to see somebody like Sun Tup Editions or Lyra's or any of the other publishers that make high, fine quality books attack The Maltese Falcon and give us something special like that. But I got a few on the shelf that I'm going to compare. I'm going to show them to you. And then we're going to unbox the Easton Press edition of the Maltese Falcon. The first one I want to show you here is from the Folio Society. And it is slipcased. And it does feature David Eccles' artwork. Let's show you a couple things about this. I, I like this edition. I don't love it. And here's one of the problems. It's got a slipcase, which I do like. But this is a paper slip case, and almost none of them that you see available for sale online have made it without some of this white stuff showing in the black. They don't hold up well because it's paper. It's if you if you were around when VHS tapes were being sold at the local department store, they came in a paper board type box. It would just slip over the VHS tape, the videotape. And this is about the same stuff. It doesn't last long. It doesn't stand any real abuse. You gotta never touch it to keep it nice. So that's one knock. The slip, the slip case artwork, maybe you love it, maybe you don't. It really comes off as cartoony or comic, but I think it almost fits for the time. 1929, 1930, this book was written somewhere there. I think this artwork kind of fits for me. Uh, so I don't have a problem with it. I just wish the slipcase was a little bit higher quality. And in the book, it's Folio Society stuff. I think this book was published 2013 from the Folio Society. So you got foil stamping on the cover. A nice, cool, vintage look in her time-correct looking spine design that I do like. And it's uh, the foil board or the cloth boards that you very often will get with the Folio Society. Uh, yellow solid color end papers. The artwork in here, I don't want to say it's bad artwork. It's just not what I want with this book. It's artwork that is perfect for a graphic novel or a comic or something like that. And I'll, I'll flip through here. There's quite a few illustrations in the book, but they just don't jump out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It, it looks like graphic novel or comic type artwork. So it's not bad art. It tells a great story, and it probably fits well with the design of the book, I guess. But if I'm choosing a book to stand alone, this is the version of the Maltese Falcon. It's not what I want. It's a nice side piece, I guess. A nice fun edition of the Maltese Falcon. But, uh, but I'm just leaving it at that. It's neat. It's just not the book. And honestly, I don't think we have the book, but I do have one of my ones that I truly like, and I'm hoping the Easton Press can stack up. So the next version I want to show you is kind of one or two different versions of the same book. This would be the Franklin Library, and this one is the Deluxe 
leather, genuine leather bound version. And I just love the way this looks on the shelf. That shiny silver foil, the leather, the, the hub spine, so much about this book I am so pleased with. It is a sewn binding. It has a silk ribbon page marker in there. <clears throat> Just fine, be beautiful, and I have to say this one is one of one of my favorite books in my collection, physical books. There are a lot of them that are my favorites, so it's not going to be top one or top five. I may stick this one in the top ten of all the books in my collection. The this the way this leather looks really really is exciting to me, and then inside there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Our end papers are the, the spade for Sam Spade, the main character in the Maltese Falcon. And this book has a very strong movie motif. So the other one from Folio I showed you was graphic novel or comic-ish. This one is more movie. And just kind of show you a little bit of what we got in here. There are, uh, this one printed, I think, 1986, 1987, it says in there. But this has lots of scenes from the film in the book. So you got some, that's your artwork in here. That kind of stuff, movie related. So they've tied this book very closely to the Humphrey Bogart film. And you know what? I got no problem with that. Not only is the film phenomenal, but the book and the film are so close. There's only a couple of minor changes and I think it had to do with what was accepted in movies at the time. Some sexual related stuff. So in the book, um, a guy and a girl goes to the bedroom. They wake up together. That's not in the movie. I don't think it's accepted. There's also some other sexual related things that either they thought would be off-putting to audiences or it was illegal to show in a movie or to even speak of in a movie. So those are... Those are the small changes. Otherwise, this book and the movie are very, very tight, close. The movie was very faithful to a very good, phenomenal book that, quite frankly, I think was written, <laughs> written for a movie. So let's take a look just a little bit more in here. We got two-color printing. There is our text size and the font style. I don't know what you'd call it, but you can see it for yourself. Relatively white paper, not completely stark, but uh, white. And then I don't know if I mentioned the silver page ends. Very nice. I really like this book. Now, this one took me a while to get. The Franklin Mystery Folks published two different versions of this book that are very, very similar. And you, it's hard to see on camera the difference between the genuine leather version and then the one that people on eBay call leather, but it's really, a, a, I think you'd call it more of a cloth bound, somehow manipulated to look almost leatherish from a distance, <laughs> but very different when you see it in person between the two. So don't be fooled. A lot of folks online, there's a lot of listings for this book right here that say this is leather and it's not. Not only is it different materials, it's missing some stuff. The binding is very different between the two. The ribbon marker is missing from this cheaper cloth covered board and it just doesn't, well, it does have a lot of the, the cool look to it. The materials look so much different. It kind of looks like a fancy cheap book. This one looks like a fancy quality book and I'll just leave it at that. But inside there, this got the same stuff, the same information, pictures, story all that kind of stuff so i think if you want if you like this book and you like 25 dollars better than 150 or whatever you might be able to find this one for then uh you'll be very happy with the cheaper version and that's probably a good thing that publishers give people those kinds of options i got no problem with it it's the secondary market sellers that kind of make it hard for people to navigate and figure out what they're getting when they pay their money that i have a problem with now for a little while now, that's where I've been. But today, I am going to be unboxing the Easton Press version. Easton Press, if you've watched uh, any of my videos, I've unboxed quite a few from Easton Press. 
Easton Press uses quality, genuine leather bindings, uh, board material, quality leather covers, 22 karat gold gilded page edges, built-in ribbon markers, hub spines, just very nice stuff. And they published at least two Dashiell Hammett books that are matching. Uh, and I only got one. The other one being The Thin Man. And I wish I had that too. But this, this chance I got to buy at a price I wanted to pay only included the Maltese Falcon. So I'm still on the hunt. I'm on the hunt. For the Thin Man. I love The Thin Man. It's a great book. Uh, great movie also. The movie there is quite a bit different than the book by Dashiell Hammett. But anyway, The Maltese Falcon. As a book, I gotta say I like it better than The Thin Man. But I do love The Thin Man as well. <clears throat> but let's take this out and see. Let's take it out and see what the Easton Press edition looks like. And then I'll give you my, if anybody cares, I'll give you my quick opinion on whether or not the Franklin mystery version is still my favorite of the, uh, the special editions of the Maltese Falcon. If I can defeat the tape and get this thing out, we'll see. <clears throat> Almost there. All right, now we're up to Easton Press. Now this, this book is sealed. I don't know if that's factory sealed or not. There's a lot of them that are for sale that are factory sealed on Abe Books and some of the other publishers. Uh, so no matter who sealed it, where it was sealed, and how it's sealed, it's gone in just a minute. Because if there's one thing I can't stand, it's leaving a book sealed in the shrink wrap. You do what you do, <laughs> but they don't stay sealed long when I get them in my possession for a variety of reasons, but at the end of the day, I just want to get that book out. I want to see it, I want to feel it, and enjoy it. And a book wrapped in a shrink wrap, to me, is a book only half enjoyed. And I ought to write that down. Maybe I'll make it a little bit more poetic. But a book half enjoyed is a book half enjoyed. Now we got this loose shrink wrap. You think as loose as the shrink wrap is, It'd be very easy to get off, but tight wrap is easier to deal with. Anyway, we've down to the book itself, and there's my front cover. You have the quest of Falcon in question, who kind of becomes the, the crux of the story, the thing that dreams are made of. And there's our spine and then the, the backboard. So gold foil stamping on the cover. The Franklin version was silver. This one is gold those gilded page edges. You got the built-in ribbon marker, and you see there, that's a quality binding, quality work from Easton Press. And this one came with the, a note about the Maltese Falcon, a nice little addition that they will often put in. <clears throat> the end papers. I love this texture of the end papers. I believe this book was published by Easton Press in 2005, I think that's what I read. But sometimes I have a hard time with Easton Press. They'll print something and they'll reprint it years later. Sometimes it'll be exactly the same. Sometimes they'll change it just slightly. There's our beautiful, that's a, I think this is from the original first edition of the book, which I do not have, but it looks great. And it says, Copyright 2005. So I'm, I'm just going to go with the notion that this particular book was printed in 2005. I don't know. I don't believe there are interior illustrations. Nothing I could find online mentioned it. But flipping through this book, I noticed something. The text size is big and bold, and the margins are very, very small. So while I got no problem with this, and it looks cool, it's a strange print method, one that you almost never see. Typically, you got larger margins. Typically, you got smaller, maybe less bold text on the book. But hey, it's good for those tired eyes, people that have trouble reading the small stuff. Uh, it should be easy to read for sure. And uh, I think that's about the size of it. So there is the Easton Press Maltese Falcon, and I would compare that one. I'd say they both beat out the Folio Society in terms of great editions of this book. 
while I'm not bashing the Folio Society, it may sound like I am, I don't intend to, it would be between these two. And for my money, I'm going with... The Franklin Library version, the deluxe leather bound edition, not the cheaper cloth bound edition. This, for my money, my taste is still the best version of one of my favorite books. And until somebody else comes in and publishes a finer quality edition, I would still say to anybody that asks, if you're asking, this Franklin mystery version of the Maltese Falcon is the best out there. If I'm wrong, tell me so. I don't mind being wrong. It ain't the first time. Anyway, those are all the lies I can think of to tell. Thank you for your time. I do appreciate it. Say la vie, baby. Doo-doo. This one is the...